Hi everybody and welcome to Smells Like Teen Angst. I'm Jordan. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss any of our videos. This video is going to be all about young adult novels that got done dirty by their movie adaptations. The Crow? Not done dirty. These books? Definitely done dirty. Let's get started. <laughs> Number five, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, first of all, I must say, we all hate J.K. Rowling, okay? I will say it on camera. She's doing us dirty as people. Moving on, the movie adaptation of this book, it looked really pretty. It was very beautiful to look at. The story, however, was incredibly lacking. I don't even know where to start or end with like what things didn't match the book. If I was to do a side-by-side -side comparison of everything that the movie got wrong from the book, we'd be here the length of the movie. So we're just not gonna do it today, guys. I will say that the book was one of my favorites in the series and is one of the most cleverest endings that the whole series has. The movie, no. Just know that it's trash. Come on, J.K. Rowling, she trash too. Oh, no. Number four, The Click. The Click is a 2000s tween book series that got a direct-to-DVD adaptation. Y'all, nobody deserves direct-to-DVD. That's just, that's just sad. That's what you do for your like, television show spinoffs that nobody asked for. Or movie sequels like Mulan 2. That was direct-to-DVD. The Click deserved better. How rude! Number three, Twilight. Okay, listen. We all know that the source material isn't you know, Shakespeare. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. However, it is a written and thought out story. The movies, not so much. There was a lot missing. One of the biggest complaints in the movie is that they fall in love in two days, where if you've read Twilight and you've read Midnight Sun, it definitely takes them a hot minute for their love to blossom. Not to mention the clean slate that Jacob gets in order to really push that love triangle that young adult movies liked so much. They completely made Jacob seem like such a nice guy when Jacob was definitely not a nice guy. He was kind of a creepo. Wait for her to say the words. Fine. This is another one that I can go on and on about, but for the sake of time, I won't. Want to hear me talk about this more? Check out our podcast, What the Forks. Moving on, number two, the Divergent series. Okay, listen, I know that none of us really liked how the book series ended. I know that we all had many questions after finishing reading Allegiant. They did not deserve what happened in those movies. They said, we didn't like what you wrote. We're gonna write our own thing. It was totally not the same story. The movies just, took on a life of their own, like forgot about plot, forgot about characters, switched things around. And here's the catch, their thing was not better than the book. They shouldn't have done that. Your poor blend of impulses and impurities. And the number one series that was done dirty by its movie adaptation, Percy Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Your movie sucked. Never meant to make the viewers cry. I apologize a thousand times. Percy Jackson had so much potential. It's basically Harry Potter meets Greek mythology and has a baby named Percy. And somehow the directors just messed that all the way up. The Percy Jackson movies were so bad, they stopped it too. There's like 11 teen books, but two not good movies. They took a beautiful coming of age story that's full of traveling and trauma and growth and personal lessons and love and turned into a buddy comedy with a cute girl who doesn't do much even though she's the daughter of Athena. This is another one that decided to ignore the source material completely and make its own thing. They just changed everything. The character's not the same, the story's not the same, the monsters and villains aren't the same, which like if they were gonna do that, they could have done that. They just didn't need to call it Percy Jackson. They could have called it like Schmershy Schmaction. Smurshy Schmaction. the Schmightning Schmeef. <laughs> Schmee of Schmonsters. <laughs> All right, guys, that's our list. Thanks so much for watching. If you have your own list, you agree with ours, disagree with ours, just let us know down below in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for new videos. I'm Jordan. This is Smells Like Teen Angst. See you later.